All right, we get back to Tampa. Steven Stamkos has promised kind enough to join us. Steven, Scott Van Pelt, welcome to the show for the first time. I appreciate you being with us. And over these past couple of years, man, there's very little that your club hasn't seen. But it's been rare that you've had to dig out of holes. I know Coop sets a great tone and it's a great locker room. But just the, the conversations over the course of these last two games in that room, what have they been like, Steven? Well, let's, let's just take care of, of home ice. Um, you know, we didn't play our best in, in New York. You know, got to give them credit. They came out. Um, we didn't really play our game the first two games. We have an opportunity now to, to come back home and even the series up. So I, I think these have been our two best games um, in the last little while, and we just got to build on it. There's a, Like you said, there's a lot of experience in this room that we lean on, and um, it's worked out so far. Score more goals is the answer. I get that. But what will it take for you guys to do what you have to do at some point to win this series? That's whether it's Thursday or Game 7 if it's needed. you got to win in New York. What, what, what would have to happen for that in your, in your estimation, Stephen? Well, we just got to keep playing the way we're playing. I, I really liked their game the last two. The last two. We've got back to simplicity. It's, it's not always uh, pretty out there, but it's effective. We know what we have to do to win at this time of the year, and that's it's defend well. It's limit their chances. They got some high-end skill. Um, I thought for the most part tonight we stayed out of the penalty box. They obviously have a very potent power play, and that'll be something we need to focus on going into New York as well is just try not to give them any momentum. So a, a good start will help next game, but I think we just... You know, we found something that's worked the last two games. Let's stick with it. Last one, and I, this is something I've heard a lot about the NBA Finals, right, where Golden State's got all this experience and, and Boston doesn't. Well, New York's a really talented group, but clearly, given what you all have done, you can really lean into that experience and trust it in the room. If it's going to reveal itself somewhere over the course of these next couple of games, where, where might that be seen? Well, it might be on, uh, you know, a road game. Like you said, it, it, it's uh, a tale of, of home games so far with, with both teams winning their, their home game. So at some point, if we want to win this series, um, we're going to have to find a way to win on the road. We've, we've certainly had some success in the past. That's where the experience comes in is have the ability to go into a, a hostile environment like MSG and just simplify our game and, and try to take the crowd out of it and go win a game on the road. It's, it's not going to be easy, but... This team has grinded it out the last couple of years in, in these types of big game situations. So let's go do that again. Buddy of mine's a big Rangers fan, said he was scared about this game tonight. I said, you ought to be. That team's hard to, that team's hard to get rid of. You guys have got championship medal, Stephen. Congrats on the victory. Thanks for taking the time. No problem. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.